The guy I'm excited about meeting today is Sergeant Hartman. Sergeant Hartman, uh, an actor named Lee Ernie, who was in the... We should, have some, we should have some of those phony phone calls to play every once in a while, but... I have them? Okay. Kaka Ernie? Yeah. Anyway, Sergeant Hartman will be here. Thank you for choosing your 24 hours for the Walmart home I to call. What's your name, scumbag? Excuse me? What's your name, fat body? This is Walmart. I admire your honesty. Who are you looking for? Do you suck dicks? Hmm. One, two, three! Hello? What's your name, fat body? What's your name? Gomer Pyle. Oh, really? And how are you doing today? What have we got here? A fucking comedian. What's the matter, sir? Do you suck dicks? Good evening, Frank. Speaking to help you, please. What's your name, scumbag? Who am I speaking to, sir? Gomer Pyle. Huh? Gomer Pyle. Okay, what can I do for you? Do you suck dicks? Okay. I guess he does. The guy said okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, gotcha. Maybe he hung up the phone to get right over there. <laughs> uh, that's from a great movie. And the name of that movie is? Full Metal Jacket. That's right, Robin. Full Metal Jacket. Very good. You passed the test. That's your SATs for today. Thank you. Do any of you people know who Charles Whitman was? None of you dumbasses knows. Private Cowboy. Sir, he was that guy who shot all those people from that tower in Austin, Texas, sir. That's affirmative. Charles Whitman killed 12 people from a 28-story observation tower at the University of Texas from distances of up to 400 yards. Anybody know who Lee Harvey Oswald was? Private Snowball. Sir, he shot Kennedy, sir. That's right. And do you know how far away he was? Sir, it was pretty far from that book's repository building, sir. <laughs> All right, knock it off. 250 feet. He was 250 feet away and shooting at a moving target. Oswald got off three rounds with an old Italian bolt-action rifle in only six seconds and scored two hits, including a head shot. Do any of you people know where these individuals learned how to shoot? Private Joker. Sir, in the Marines, sir! In the Marines, outstanding. Those individuals showed what one motivated Marine and his rifle can do. Wow. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time on this show, a man I've always wanted to interview, Sergeant Hartman. That's right, Lee Ernie. Sergeant Hartman. Lee Ernie is the name of the actor who played Sergeant Hartman in that great movie, Full Metal Jacket. And this is a real honor. He's going to come up to our microphone in just a minute. And he is uh, walking in, Casey holding the door. This is a serious dude, man. I don't mess with this dude. Look at him, man. Oh, man. I am, oh, my goodness. I am so honored to have Sergeant Hartman here today. This is a man who has proven himself to be a tough dude. How are you, my friend? You, you are the so-called king of all media? I'm not impressed, Howard. Oh, let me tell you something. I am the king of all media. I'm asking the questions around here, you decrepit piece of petrified crap. Who are you anyway, the fairy freaking godmother? Well, we're getting off to a bad start. Sergeant Hartman, I assume you're here because you want to be interviewed. You assume? You assume? Yeah. Well, where did you go to college, you unorganized, grab pathetic excuse for a human being? I can't even figure out why best sticks with you, oh. you old bag. But I'm in charge here now. Get down on the deck and crank out 25 for me, darling. Hey, no no offense, darling, but this is not the Army, so be careful, dude. Oh, you are scaring the dog crap out of me. I am going to poo-poo in my diaper. So, this is Shock Radio. Anyone around here going to say something shocking? Because I, I ain't laughing. The great Howard Stern, that's pretty funny. Ha, ha, ha. You are so ugly, you could be a modern art masterpiece, Howard. Hey, no offense, you're out of your mind. And uh, I don't mind saying you're out of your mind. <laughs> Wait a second. There's a funny guy. Are you a comedian, fat body? I'm talking to you, Artie. Hey, what did I do? What are you picking on me for? <laughs> Why am I picking on you? Excuse me, Miss Sensitive Nancy. <laughs> Should I give you a dress to wear? 
Aren't you the cokehead who lost your job on Mad TV for not knowing how to put down a dollar bill? Weren't you the guy who pooped his bed when he was drunk? Artie! That rhymes with farty. Do you fart? <laughs> no, sir. Bull feathers, I bet you fart like a big fat Mexican at a chili contest. <laughs> you look like a gambler, too, scumbag. Do you gamble? Yes, sir. You know what I bet? What? I bet you drop dead of a heart attack before you <laughs> turn 40. That's what I bet. <laughs> Looking at you makes me want to vomit. Can I vomit on you? No, sir. Why? It could only improve your disgusting looks. <laughs> hey, no offense, Sergeant Hartman. You come in. You're a really tough guy. You come in here and you insult my people. Why don't you get a grip on yourself, please? I ought to rip off your balls so you cannot contaminate the rest of the world. Oh. Hey, there's Casey Armstrong. Hey, Casey. Hey, aren't you the girl who played the gay chicken? <laughs> yes. yes, I am. Oh, yeah. Hey, girl, want me to paint your testicles green and shave you with a K-bar? Ha-ha! <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Are you a queer, KC? Dude, I'm a bad guy. You better shut up because I'll kill you. <laughs> well, what do we have here? Are you a brave man? Aren't you the brave man who ran out of here during the World Center Trade Center attack? You are a piece of manure who has learned how to talk. Do you think I'm cute, KC? Do you think I'm funny? You're a little bitch. Oh! I ought to rip off the top of your head and pour raw sewage down your neck, so... Do you hear me, maggot? You ran out on 9-11? Jesus H. Christ! Don't need me. You need a gynecologist to show you how to wear a tampon. Do you pee setting down? Do you get cramps when you do your push-ups, sweetheart? Casey, you. you're a pussy. I told you a sissy, Casey. Who is the brave man here? That's Stutter and John, Sergeant Hartman. Look who we have here, Private Stupid. Bend over! Crack a smile and show me what you have for brains, Private Stupid. Hey, oh, my name is John Melendez. <laughs> oh, that's right, the stuttering freak who don't know how to speak. Hey, I'm a funny guy. Who told you that, defective mutant, your mommy? <laughs> the best part of you ran down to crack your mama's butt over 40 years ago. I ought to know because I was behind her at the time. <laughs> hey, hey oh, you shut up, man. I'll kick your ass like I kick crazy cabbie's ass. <laughs> you kicked the ass of a crack addict, cowardly sissy boy, butt pirate. Should I be scared of someone who beat up a schizophrenic homosexual fudge packer? I think not, Private Stupid. I'll bet the Martian could kick your ass. Ain't that right, Fred North? Could you kick Private Stupid's ass? I have no idea. That's right. You have no idea. <laughs> you are cute, clueless Martian freak. Hey, ain't it time for you to crawl back into the mothership and fly to Orion? <laughs> hey, douchebag. Hey, hi to Mr. Spock for me. Oh my. Any goddamn time you feel like beaming up, feel free to do so. You are nothing more than an unorganized pieces of monkey crap to me. <laughs> Speaking of monkeys, where is that missing link producer of yours? Baba Booney. I'm right here, Sergeant Hartman. I'm Baba Booey. What is your major mouth function, numbnuts? <laughs> oh, let me guess. You were born with a fat ass. <laughs> that, that's not nice. Stand up to him, Gary. That's not right. I was just kidding. That fat roly-poly ass of yours is nothing compared to those green tombstone teeth in your mouth. <laughs> Holy Christ. Your mouth looks like a toilet. I'll bet that I could unscrew your head and poop down your neck. Is that why your breath smells like an overflowing cesspool on a hot day in Georgia? Man. I have never seen such funny, scary teeth on one individual in my entire life. Do you have mood teeth? Do they turn green when you're nervous? I think you're nervous right now, aren't you? Are you shaking in your Puma's Pizza Boy? Or... Do you want Star Jones over there to come to your rescue? Star Jones. That's right, Whoopi. I'm talking to you. Robin, Robin, you Sergeant Hartman is talking to you. It was funny until he started talking about me. Uh, listen, uh, Robin doesn't seem to be talking to you. Well, uh, Don't talk to Robin. 
the way you're talking to her. It's, in, in a little respect, yeah. She was a captain in the Air Force, and you should know that. I outrank you. You were a captain in the Air Force? Yeah. What were you? Captain in charge of the Deli Jelly Donut Brigade? <laughs> oh, Get spit down it out on the wide floor wide. and give me 20. Ah, oh, forget it. With those Charlies on your chest? Your arms probably couldn't even possibly reach the ground. Are you? Were you about to call me an asshole? Yes. Easy does it, Sergeant Hartman. That's let, a captain. Let me guess. Captain Robin was one, the one who had anal in California. <laughs> right. Along with the other 50 states in the Union, oh, of course, boy. and probably half of the provinces in Canada. Ugh. I thought it was you. It, but I didn't recognize you with your pants on. All right, listen, this is, uh, this you, is are, going wrong. you are you you are you are an outrage. <laughs> I uh, don't know what you're thinking inside that head of yours. That scary that head. That scary head, Sergeant Hartman. I know you came here for a plug. I'm going to give it to you because I'm afraid not to. <laughs> is your real name Lee Ermy? Arlie, or Arlie Ermy. Arlie Ermy. What's the R for? Ronald. Ronald. <laughs> Listen, Arlie Ermy, one of the great actors of all time, will be hosting Mail Call on the History Channel at 8 p.m. on Mondays. Oh, okay. And what what is this about, by the way? The the uh, Mail Call. Mail Call. What do you do on that? Uh, uh, yeah. What is mail call? Well, mail call is uh, anything you want to know about the military past, present, and future, Howard. I see. By the way, Farty. Yes? I can't hear you. Yes! Look at you. You're a greasy, sweat, fatty mess. Just as <laughs> I thought. Well, I mean, you know, that's not nice. I mean... Uh... Silence! Your skin is so greasy, it looks like you washed your body with a funnel cake. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm not greasy. Come on. Bull crap. <laughs> Go sit down and eat some lasagna, you fat meatball. I tell you, I'll tell you what, king of all media, I'm going to leave now. All right. Can you handle that king of all media? I can definitely handle that. You horse's ass. <laughs> you are the king of small peckers. There's no question about that. Do you have a small pecker, Howard? Well, uh, look. <laughs> I'll bet your rod's so small that when you have sex, it would be like putting a needle in a big, fat turkey breast. <laughs> well, I must admit, you've made me speechless for the first time I'm speechless. None of us know what to say. You've never been speechless in your entire damn life. You talk more than a fat lady at the movie theater, for Christ's sakes. Now, shut your goddamn mouth, Beaker. Oh. <laughs> beaker? What's that, What's that about? Is that my nose? That's exactly what it is. Of course I'm referring to your nose. It's getting hard to breathe in here. You're sucking all the oxygen out of this room. Wow. Oh. Hey, faggot, Casey Armstrong. Yes, sir. Yo yes, sir. Armstrong, are your arms strong? No, you're strong enough. Strong enough to take two big pipes and ask for a third? Oh. No. Are you stupid, son? No. Where did you get your education? Western Kentucky University. Oh, you must be stupid. Didn't you get a 790 on your SAT? Yeah, I got a 790. <laughs> huh? Huh? I admire your honesty, dummy. <laughs> I'm gonna chart I'm gonna change your diapers for you, dumb baby. Well, S S Sergeant Hartman, you've done it all. I want to thank you for coming in here. I think this here. is enough. Uh, Aaron, I'm, I'm, I, I, let me just say something, Sergeant Hartman. You really, you really might be insane. <laughs> Darren, I'm going to give you about three goddamn seconds, exactly three effing seconds, to wipe that stupid grin off your face, or I'm going to gouge out your eye go eyeballs and F, skull F you. Now, read my plug again and do it with uh, feeling. I will do it with feeling. Uh, Arlie Ermy is hosting Mail Call on the History Channel, 8 p.m. on Mondays. I hope they're paying you well for this gig. They're paying me extremely well. They are. Yes. And you're having fun on the History Channel? I'm having a great time. You know what? Uh, this uh, I've been doing this 30 years now. It doesn't seem like it, but I have been doing it for 30 years, and this is the most fun I've ever had. It's <laughs> like I can't wait to get out of the rack in the morning so I can go do another show because it's... Every one of them is like another big adventure for me. We go on a lot of the military bases and, and talk with the guys, and that kind of puts me in my element. And do you yell at them like you do at us? I yell at everybody, you Howard. Don't. don't feel like you've been singled out. I yell at everybody. Well, I yell I have, at my mother, for Christ's sake. I have one question for him. Arlie Ermy, 
What kind of name is that? <laughs> Ronald Lee Ermey. That is a uh, very masculine God, that name. That sounds like royalty. Honorable, honorable. All I know is I want to say something. You are so brilliant in Full Metal Jacket. And I, re- I was shocked to read that, that most of your lines in Full Metal Jacket were not scripted, that you kind of created them on the spot. Uh, actually, Howard, uh, uh, Stanley Kubrick and I sat down and rewrote it. It was a, it was a real piece of crap when we first started. <laughs> right. We, uh, we corrected it. We squared it away. The, the way that I wrote it, it had to be written because Stanley does a hundred million takes and you have to do it word for word each time so he can cut in any place in the scene where he wants. But what we did was we, uh, Stanley and I would be sitting at the table and he would push the, button on the tape recorder and i'd stand up and do the scene as a drill instructor wow then uh i would run out of gas and and we would sit down and we would talk about the scene in, in more depth and uh i would stand up again sometimes two or three times we would do it when you're in bed with a chick do you ever yell at him and, like try and turn him on in you character become sergeant? Do you ever become the sergeant in bed <laughs> you know i i never have really got off doing that i i i no. like to say cuddly uh stuff you know howard it off and you know in all fairness i've said to a chick a few times what's your name fat buddy <laughs> what's your major malfunction you can't get off <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with you? <laughs> well you are the best and we look fan to your uh we look forward to your your tv show on history channel about time History Channel put on some good shows instead of just. Uh, yes, I'm tired of seeing Hitler yeah, roll Hit, up. It, it, there's no Hitler on your show, is there? No, no, no Hitler. No Hitler is allowed. And uh, if everybody needs to look at it. It's fun. I have a great time doing it. And by the way, Howard. Yes. Uh, Ron, the limo driver, sends his best. He's a, he's a huge fan. He is. He well, is, well listen, everyone, everyone is a big fan of yours. You are yeah. the best. And uh, we're going to take a break. We'll come back right after these words. Now, get down on the deck and crank out 25 for me, darling. Hey, no no offense, darling, but this is not the Army, so be careful, dude. Oh, you are scaring the dog crap out of me. I am going to poo-poo in my diaper. So, this is Shock Radio. Anyone around here going to say something shocking? Because I ain't laughing. The great Howard Stern, that's pretty funny. Ha, ha, ha. You are so ugly, you could be a modern art masterpiece, Howard. Hey, no offense, you're out of your mind. And uh, I don't mind saying you're out of your mind. (laughs) Wait a second. There's a funny guy. Are you a comedian, fat body? I'm talking to you, Artie. And what did I do? What are you picking on me for? <laughs> Why am I picking on you? Excuse me, Miss Sensitive Nancy. <laughs> Should I give you a dress to wear? Aren't you the cokehead who lost your job on... He is uh, walking in, Casey, holding the door. This is a serious dude, man. I don't mess with this dude. Look at him. Man, oh, man. I am. Oh, my goodness. I am so honored to have Sergeant Hartman here today. This is a man who has proven himself to be a tough dude. How are you, my friend? You you are the so-called king of all media? I'm not impressed, Howard. Oh, let me tell you something. I am the king of all media. I'm asking the questions around here, you decrepit piece of petrified crap. Who are you anyway, the fairy freaking godmother? Well, we're getting off to a bad start. Sergeant Hartman, uh, I assume you're here because you want to be interviewed. You assume? You assume? Yeah. Well, where did you go to college, you unorganized, grab pathetic excuse for a human being? I can't even figure out why best sticks with you, oh. you old bag. But I'm in charge here now. The guy I'm excited about meeting today is Sergeant Hartman. Sergeant Hartman, uh, an actor named Lee Ernie, who was in the... We should, have some, we should have some of those phony phone calls to play every once in a while, but I have them? Okay. Kaka, Ernie? Yeah. Anyway, Sergeant Hartman will be here. Thank you for choosing your 24 hours for the Walmart home, I jerked the ball. What's your name, scumbag? Excuse me? What's your name, fat body? This is Walmart. I admire your honesty. Who are you looking for? Do you suck dicks? One, two, three. Well, what's your name, fat body? What's your name? Gomer Pyle. Oh, really? And how are you doing today? What have we got here? A fucking comedian. What's the matter, sir? Do you suck dicks? Good evening, Frank. Speaking to help you, please. What's your name, scumbag? Who am I speaking to, sir? Gomer Pyle. Huh? Gomer Pyle. Okay. What can I do for you? Do you suck dicks? Okay. 
I guess he does. <laughs> guy said okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, gotcha. Maybe he hung up the phone to get right over there. <laughs> uh, that's from a great movie. And the name of that movie is? Full Metal Jacket. That's right, Robin. Full Metal Jacket. Very good. You passed the test. That's your SATs for today. Thank you. Do any of you people know who Charles Whitman was? None of you dumbasses knows. Private Cowboy. Sir, he was that guy who shot all those people from that tower in Austin, Texas, sir. That's affirmative. Charles Whitman killed 12 people from a 28-story observation tower at the University of Texas from distances of up to 400 yards. Anybody know who Lee Harvey Oswald was? Private Snowball. Sir, he shot Kennedy, sir. That's right. And do you know how far away he was? Sir, it was pretty far from that book suppository building, sir. <laughs> All right, knock it off. 250 feet. He was 250 feet away and shooting at a moving target. Oswald got off three rounds with an old Italian bolt-action rifle in only six seconds and scored two hits, including a hit shot. Do any of you people know where these individuals learned how to shoot? Private Joker. Sir, in the Marines, sir. In the Marines, outstanding. Those individuals showed what one motivated Marine and his rifle can do. Wow. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time on this show, a man I've always wanted to interview, Sergeant Hartman. That's right, Lee Ernie. Sergeant Hartman, Lee Ernie is the name of the actor who played Sergeant Hartman in that great movie, Full Metal Jacket. And this is a real honor. He's going to come up to our microphone in just a minute. 